Hi everybody, it's Kaylee here from Team JCB and this week's weekly business feature is Nerd Teats located at 599 Dundas Street. Let's head over there now and ask the owner a couple questions. I started, well, I started my business because I really wanted to use my skills and abilities. I had worked in the marketing industry for about 10 years and went on that leave and I had two beautiful daughters but when I went to go back to work, work wasn't there. So I decided that I would do something for myself. So I didn't know what at first, no idea. I tried applying for jobs again and again, but I had been out of the industry, so it was really difficult to get back in. So I kind of was like, you know what, guys, I'm going to own a business. And then my friends kind of laughed. Like, no, 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 I could do something like a tea store. I always love tea, so I thought it would be a great idea. And again, they all kind of chuckled, like, yeah, yeah, you could do it, whatever. And I actually decided to go for it. So I went down to the Small Business Center. I applied for this grant program. It was kind of like Dragon's Den style. I had to spend a month working on my business plan and then pitch it to a panel of judges. And then if it passed that panel, then it got to go to the, the higher up goals government panel there. And I actually got the funds. And I was very excited and very, very surprised. And I took all the funds and I put it into my initial set of teas. And ever since then, I've just rolled it forward and just kept going, and it's grown remarkably since then. Nerd Tees first opened in 2015. So it's kind of, I had a soft opening in the summer where I launched the full website. I hadn't actually planned on doing a storefront, so I launched online first. Part of the conditions for my grant program was to do one vendor, one vendor event. So I actually did the Woodstock Fair. And while I was there, I was approached by the managers of the farmer's market and they said, we have no tea, we want you here. And I, I almost said no, I almost said no, I'm so happy I didn't. So I started to participate in the farmer's market that fall. I had a lot of fun, the people there were great and it really got my product out to Woodstock. And I realized how much people love tea in Woodstock. And so it grew from there. I spent about a year and a half at the farmer's market, I did the downtown farmer's market as well, vendor events in town. Anytime, the little bazaars and churches all the way out to uh, the Paris night market and uh, it just kept growing and I, I would bring about 40 teas with me and people were asking for more and I couldn't bring more with me so I decided it was probably time to actually look at a space. Found a, a nice little store in downtown Woodstock and I jumped on it. The price was reasonable. The landlord is super awesome and it's grown since. So I opened in the store in October of 2016 and it's still here and going strong. Are there any future store plans? So I'm still growing out my teas. I have a bunch of new blends I'm going to introduce this this year but my biggest push is going to be more accessories. I want to bring in more fun things, cups, even silly spoons. I found these awesome little wizard spoons. I'm going to bring them in. They're going to be great and even more handmade goods. Uh, looking at unique tea towels and cozies, we're already expanding into tea bath products, and yeah, just to continue to expand the store and hopefully fill this, this little place to the brim with tea. What is your favorite tea? That's hard. <laughs> it's almost like there, I have so many. I find I kind of like different ones based on the season, so right now with that cold chill, I love winter clementine because it's full of that clovey taste. In the summer, I love the Sakura Green, or my all-around good time tea is my Monk's Blend. Kinda tastes like a white popsicle. Uh, it's really yummy. <laughs>